What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Reptile in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Reptile, some best strategies to be using, and of course, some fun and easy combos that you can learn today. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content. Turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing and go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is gonna be the universal language that we use so everybody knows what we're talking about. Now to start off with Reptile's moveset, there are a couple of things that are noteworthy that I wanna go over. First things first, you got a great pop-up as two, three and four, two, three looks the same, but it's a bit different, it's a bit more damage. So a fun way for you not to forget is you got two, three and four, two, three. And that same scenario works the same with this two, four combo, you have four, 424 as well. A big note about that, that's actually a really good low combo and it's got awesome range. Look at this, we just started the game, boom. Even from pretty far, look at this range we got. So if you ever wanna throw it out there and really trip up your opponent, that's a great move to do so. Reptile has one overhead normal and that's his back two. It's just a simple overhead ender, but the really cool thing about it is you can hold it and get a pop up for a combo like so. Your back two overhead is unfortunately your only normal option, but you do have an air special with your down back four, and that's an overhead. Now, quick side note with that special, I love it because you can use it jumping forward or backward and just really throw your opponent off guard. So if you want to jump in and make your opponent think you're going to hit them, psych, we're going to do a special instead. For your low combo starters, you do got your back three one or just simply put your back three. And of course you can cancel that into any specials like a force ball, your down forward three special. So you can go back three, one, down forward three into a combo. Believe it or not, Reptile's back four, his sweep here has got pretty dang good range for a normal attack. Not quite as good as your two, four combo, but still really good to throw him off guard. Your one, one, four combo is a really good combo ender. It does not cancel into specials, unfortunately, but it's still pretty good for an ender. Same exact thing goes for your four, three, one, one. That's got a bit more reach though with the forward three here. So if we do our two, three to pop, but we do four to three one into a special now for reptiles air combos unfortunately you only have you know two really good options here we have our completed one two combo and our completed two three three combo your two three three is a pop-up for combo extension on the ground and after thorough investigation i have found that your one two really just wants to go into your down back four air special but it's still pretty good damage for no bar and i'll show you why so let's go ahead and do our two three to get our opponent in the end then we'll jump and show you the air combos two three one two as you can see, we can't really land before our opponent to continue that, but we can do our air special after that, our down back four, like so. Now, if you want to do your two, three, three in the air, it's pretty easy to remember because you're going to go two, three, jump, and then two, three, three. As you can see, our opponent bounces, but not everything will connect after that bounce. I found it best utilized in the corner for that reason. Now for Reptile's wake up attacks, you got two really good options. Your first one is of course your back forward four, and that's a low, but if you enhance it, you get armor. You do have your back forward two option for an overhead at the end there. The problem with your back forward two is if your opponent blocks it, you are super unsafe. So if they bait your wake up attack and you do that, they're just gonna get a free combo off on you. So you can do that, but another option I like to do is a force ball. Wake up with that, because if it does hit, I get a combo. So if I risk it for a wake up, I would prefer a special attack that gives me a combo if hit, and your back forward two doesn't do that, but your down forward three force ball does. If you really want to play it safe, again, your back forward four enhanced does get armor. Now to quickly go over some noteworthy things about Reptile's special moves is of course the giant elephant in the room, and that's him going invisible. How cool is that? So you kind of give yourself a warning and your opponent a warning. Okay, I'm going invisible with all that green sludge on me. You're kind of sliming yourself Nickelodeon style. Now, why are you going invisible? It's about three seconds till you do so. Then you got about three or four seconds before you come back to being reptile. So you really want to make it count and you want to make it worth it. So the best strategy that I can advise when playing reptile is learn how to play invisible. Really make your opponent guess what are you going to do? Are you going to go for the low attack? If you really want to throw them off their guard, quite literally just throw them. They're literally never gonna see it coming. But learn how to do your combos while you're invisible. The more invisible you are, the harder time your opponent's gonna have fighting you just in general. And that is your down up four special move. Also, another side note, your down forward three, your force ball, that's not full screen as you can see that there. If we enhance it, it sure is. And you can control the speed of your force ball by holding forward or back after doing the inputs to make it go faster or slower. So here it is faster. And here it is slower. As you can see with the slow, it pops pretty fast. So another good strategy that I like to do is enhance it and hold back so it's slow. 
and then just follow it and have it guard me so my opponent doesn't really want to rush me and I can kind of do what I want. Reptile is a pretty dang straightforward kind of character. Fun and easy combos. Great ways to mix it up with your opponent. Make them keep guessing. And his biggest trait going invisible like this is just too overpowered, man. Now for some fun and easy combos to get you started today. Let me know down below what do you think of Reptile in Mortal Kombat 1. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.